Garçon et fille. Comment ça va? It's all the French I know. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another midweek mukbang, baby. Hope you're all doing having a fantastic day, evening, morning, night, whenever you're watching this video. As always, we're just going to start it off with that. Um, if you could, please, before we even get anywhere into the video, like, subscribe, please. Comment down below, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. I did that backwards. It's fine, all right? Just do all that right now. If you don't like me by the end of the video, you can just undo all that. But if you don't do it right now, you're going to forget and you're going to miss all the amazing content that we have on this channel. So just please do it. Stop disrespecting me. Stop disrespecting the 137 other subscribers we have, part of this community. Thank you. But in this video, if you've already seen by the title and thumbnail, um, we're going to be talking about Andrew Tate and my opinions on Andrew Tate. If you haven't heard of Andrew Tate already, you must not be on social media at all, and you're probably not watching this video. So if you are watching this video, you know who he is, you know the name. If not, search him up or maybe don't, but we'll get into all that. Why am I talking about Andrew Tate? And why do I feel like I have any authority to talk about Andrew Tate? Well, because he's blowing up everywhere. His name gets clicks. I want clicks. That is the reason why. But in all seriousness, I do also have some opinions on this man and I kind of want to speak about them. So let me do what I want to do and stop judging me for it, okay? Also, we have some French toast here. We got some protein French toast with some blueberries, some Walden Farm syrup, some weird other salted caramel syrup. It's gonna be great. I know we've had French toast on a midweek muck bank before, but it's really craving it. So we're having it again, all right? And just four slices this time, not five. I went easy this time. But yes, Andrew Tate, the top G of the internet and the world at the moment, claimed to be the world's first millionaire. We all know who he is. He has a lot of controversy around his name. Before we get any further, first bite. Cold, but still good at the same time. Now, I cannot scroll through TikTok for more than 30 seconds without having an Andrew Tate clip pop up on my feed. This man is one of a kind. He is something that you do not see in this day and age, or at least you don't see anyone this day and age saying the things that he is saying, at least publicly. I'm sure we all know. At this point in the world, we are very censored in what we can say. There's very little that you can say without getting canceled. Whether it's on social media, by your friends, by your family, whoever it is, you have to be very careful with what you say because you're going to offend somebody if you're not careful. You're probably gonna offend somebody anyways. Now, I grew up playing Modern Warfare 2 Call of Duty multiplayer lobbies, which puts me in a position to have to watch sometimes the things I say and the jokes that I make because I grew up with some things being allowed to say at that time and now you can't say it all. So because of that, sometimes I have to catch myself not saying something that might offend any group or any individual. Uh, when I don't mean any harm by it, but sometimes it's just kind of how I grew up and the jokes that me and my friends made, so it just kind of sticks with you. But anyways, Andrew Tate, he is somebody that speaks his mind to the fullest, right? Like, he is not centered at all. There's nothing that is on his mind that he will not say to millions, maybe even billions people on the internet. Now... I'm going to be honest. I mean, this might be the, this might be the point where I get canceled. I'd rather get canceled right now while I'm still small than I guess when I'm huge, but this might be the video that does it. I really hope not, but we will see. I'm going to be honest. Okay. Some of his theories, some of the things that he says, I agree with. Now don't twist my words. Okay. Because I'm not saying that I agree with a lot of the things that he says. Like, do I agree with the women hate that he gives out. No, not at all, okay? Now, before we even get any further, 
to make this video make sense, I would spend 20 minutes, okay, pause this, 20 minutes, research this, even just watch an Andrew Tate compilation video to get a little more understanding of who he is if you don't already know. Because a lot of what I'm going to say, you're going to already need some previous knowledge to understand. So no, okay? I don't agree with everything that he says, okay? Probably the majority of things he says, I do not agree with. But I've learned over time that you should listen to the opinions of everybody, okay? Everybody's opinions matter. And you should take some of these into account, at least listen to them. I'm not telling you that you have to agree with every opinion that you hear. But I feel that by listening to other people's opinions, no matter what things they say, there could be something that you could take out of it. So after, you know, watching a lot of Andrew Tate, for one, mostly because of comedy, because I find it really funny. Like I just find what he says really funny because I have that type of humor. Like it is funny of the fact that like, the things that he says and like the fact that he believes everything he says like i find it really funny but i've also kept an open mind okay to create my own opinions off of some of the opinions that he has for instance i have made took in the opinion that he has of that all women are bad and i've disregarded that but there is a lot of things that he has said about being a man that I really kind of, I don't know, I got something out of. I do believe that the world right now is really soft. Like, really soft. Like, you can get slack, pity, for like, a lot of things that are just excuses. And I think you all can agree with me that a lot of excuses, like we make a lot of excuses. I made a whole video about excuses. We make a lot of excuses, right? A lot of excuses why we can't do things, why we can't go to the gym, why we can't be healthy, why we can't be successful, all these things we make excuses for. And Andrew, touches on a lot of what it means to be a real man, okay? For example, one video I saw, he said something along the lines of, a real man doesn't just do what he wants to do. If he just did what he wanted to do, he wouldn't be a man. You have to do what you're supposed to do, what's difficult. If you everything you did in your life was easy, well, then you wouldn't be a real man. Now, let's take the whole be a real man out of it. And let's just say be a real person or be a strong person, individual, whatever, mentally, physically, okay? He just says man, okay? I'm using his words. I believe that everybody can take something out of this. If you switch your mindset, to understanding that not everything you do in your life is going to be easy. Life isn't supposed to be easy. It's not easy to be successful because then everybody would be successful. You need some people in the world that aren't successful because if everybody was successful, nobody's successful. So you need those outliers, honestly. Just in the way that it's sad to say, but realistically, Poverty needs to be a thing for other people that are actually willing to work to have better lives because of what they've worked for. Now, I don't want any of you to be any of those people. I don't want you to be poverty or I don't want you to not have successful lives. So this is why I think a lot of what he says you can take positivity from or take motivation from or even not motivation something else that he says that you're not always going to be motivated okay 
the people that the millionaires of the world, the bodybuilders of the world, whatever, okay? They didn't get there just out of motivation alone. Okay, you need to be disciplined. I'm not motivated all the time. Like today, okay, I worked a like 10 hour shift, okay, at work. Was I then motivated afterwards to go to the gym? No, I had no motivation to go to the gym. I didn't want to be there at all. Not even in the slightest that I want to go to the gym, but I'm disciplined. I'm disciplined. I'm disciplined in the way that I'm going to go to the gym, okay? Either way, I'm going to go to the gym. You've heard me say this before. The g it's, not, it's a non-negotiable, okay? When you're disciplined, it's when you understand and you make these non-negotiables in your life. That's what discipline is, is making non-negotiables. You have to be disciplined enough to whatever it is you want to do. If you have to wake up five in the morning, okay, to go to your job, some days you might want to sleep in, right? Some days you might not be motivated to go to work, okay? But you're disciplined and you have to go because you need to go, you need to make money, right? You're not motivated. It's the same thing for anything you want to do. Even these YouTube videos, for example, am I motivated to make these YouTube videos all the time? No. Sometimes I don't really want to make them. Like right now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really want to make this video right now. Like I'm not really in the mood or I don't have the motivation to make a video right now, okay? I had a long day, okay? But I'm disciplined, okay? Two videos are going to go up every week. The video needs to be recorded today. So it's going to be recorded today. I'm literally the Tangent Master. Can we just change my name to Tangent Master? Cause let's be honest, this video had nothing to do with Andrew Tate. <laughs> hey, so <laughs> let's just end the whole Andrew Tate stuff there. I give up with that. I thought it would have been all right. I think I thought I could have talked more on it, but apparently I didn't. Apparently I just want to talk about discipline and being a strong individual. I don't know. Anyways, the French toast is done. I'm gonna go down and get a little bit of dessert. I just had ice cream, so just something small. I need this bowl for it though. I'll be right back. You can never go wrong with a few peanut M&Ms, but yes, okay. Sometimes I feel like I need to make a script. I feel like none of you are watching this point because I literally just went off on a straight tangent. Like that difficulty staying on topic. Cause I just want to talk. And my mind is like, so like, I have ADHD, undiagnosed, but I can almost guarantee you if I went there to get checked, I'd have ADHD because my mind goes boom, 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 topic, 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 topic. And so when I'm speaking, cause these midweek mukbangs are basically just like my therapy sessions. I can just talk. Topic, 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 topic. I know it's hard to follow. It's also extremely hard to make titles and thumbnails because there's like four different topics in this one video. Like, Andrew Tate, okay? Might get me a couple clicks. I don't know. But, to just end the story, I guess. Everyone has opinions, right? I have opinions, you all have opinions. We probably all have some differing opinions. Things we're not gonna agree on, right? But, whatever it is, whoever it is, okay? Even if you don't think you're gonna agree with them, like let's be honest, okay? Andrew Tate, crazy, okay? He's insane. Some the stuff that he says, the majority of the stuff that comes out of his mouth is just disrespectful, right? It just is. It's just male power. That's all it is. But I guess what I tried to show you from this video is that even someone like that who is clearly insane, time traveled here from like. The 1940s. Even someone like that 
you can take something out of that can benefit you something that you agree with so moral of the story here listen to what people have to say listen with an open mind be open-minded to everyone's opinions you don't have to agree with them you don't have to agree with any of them but just don't block people out because you look at them and you think they're dumb or they're just talking smack because that's what i thought at first too but i got something out of it it's probably a bit of a short video again but i've ate everything so i got no i don't got much else to talk about um sorry if this video was a little all over the place but this is justin Layden. this is the channel that you clicked on this is what you're here for um we're at 137 subscribers still. We're starting to plateau, which is making me a little upset. Making me a little upset. Maybe I should stop looking at the analytics. That'll probably help. Trying to get 150 by the start of the school year. We'll see what we can do. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day, evening, morning, night, whenever you're watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, which is a little more structured. Love you.